Hello viewers and potential subscribers, you're watching Unknown Emerald and in this video I'll be showcasing the top 5 building structures on Halo 5's prefabs, so without any delay, let's get to it. The first prefab I want to show you guys is this Covenant Tower by Limno Drummers, and this one looks really really cool, very defined with a lot of detail. I've seen a lot of people attempt to make one before, but they were never able to make them look as smooth as this one, and this one definitely caught my eye. You can use this type of prefab for maybe a Halo 3 campaign remake, you know that mission where you drive the tank through the snowy canyon destroying those towers, that would be an amazing map to see being remade in Halo 5, so definitely use this type of prefabs for maybe that kind of purpose. The next set of prefabs are Rosa Covenant based and these were made by AHC R and they look so so cool. If you do not know already, they are themed after Halo Wars 2 and the Halo Wars 2 bait I was really really fun, I really enjoyed playing it and those prefabs definitely brought those little memories back and right next to them are some UNSC themed ones as well. So those type of prefabs can definitely be used for of course a Halo Wars 2 remake of some sort, not necessarily an entire map, perhaps something like a base to base, maybe even a full way or just have those buildings at the side of the map as a spec pieces. So those type of prefabs can be used for a lot of things really and it's pretty much up to your imagination to what you use them for. Now this wouldn't be a top 5 building prefab episode if I didn't add a McDonald's building and this one was made by Aspect297 and it looks so so cool. There's nothing really going on inside of the building but you can always add some chairs and tables if you feel the need to do so and this type of map can definitely be used for maybe a cop pursuit map or any city themed map of whatever you wanted to use it for to be honest. Once again it's up to your imagination to what you want to use this type of prefabs for so use your imagination and make something happen with this one also. Moving up we have a Firewatch Tower made by HWM Wheels and what I really like about this one is how natural it looks. It feels like it can fit into any type of map at all and it has a lot of potential for maybe an infection map, maybe some kind of a aesthetic map of some sort. you just put this tower at the background of the map just to make your map look a little bit better and maybe a sniper themed minigame, that would be really really cool. Once again a lot of potential for this prefab so definitely use this prefab if you <laughs> maybe have something in mind for it already. I wanted to leave my personal favourites for last, these are medieval houses made by Noble Forger and there is quite a few variations of what he made, he made a small house, he made a bigger house, he made like a blacksmith and then another house and these have so much potential for a medieval themed map, I've already seen a lot of people use them in their maps and they do not disappoint, those kind of buildings really add to your map, so definitely use this map for maybe a castle themed map, I have an infection map in my head already that I uh, I'm planning to do and I'm definitely gonna give this prefabs a go I am definitely going to use them myself so that was pretty much it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it I hope you guys give those guys a lot of credit give them likes they deserve it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a like subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time so see you Boop. oh someone's gonna get double kill you gotta come up with creative ways of saying stuff now for the YouTube new content yeah. Yeah. oh god oh, it's it's like, oh Come man, he just got dead man. Yeah, dead man's a good one. That's a good insult. Yeah, let's all use dead man <laughs> while we try to swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>